Hello there and welcome to another week with myself, Sophia Gray on Finance Talks. Each week we will be bringing you different topics on our Finance Talk um, channel and we'll, this week we're talking about is it a good time for a property buyer? What do you think? If you have any comments or would like to share your thoughts, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to bookmark us each week and follow us on our social media channels so that you can get the latest finance talk with myself, Sophia Gray. So let's get started. So how can one tell whether the markets is good for property purchases? Now, this is about looking at the markets for yourself and finding out whether it's good to purchase a property right now. So how can one tell whether the market is a good, good for purchasing property? In case you're a beginner at the phase of beginning to purchase a property of your home or looking to purchase your first investment property, then there are a couple of things that you need to look into and see whether the market is at present in support of your desire to buy a home or investment. Being equipped with the right information and the kind of data that you need will assist you in deciding whether to take the jump or not, or to delay until you have improved your um, bargaining margins. Thus, before signing on the dot, dotted line, ask yourself these three questions. Does the market have what you're looking for? Key question here. Carrying out an outline research can really help you and assist you in finding the right properties and the deals that are out there. Likewise, it is very important to note that there's always a property location and home that will um, constantly be in the short supply and because of the demand, like detached homes in central London or a studio flat. However, seeing what is currently available in the market can help you to see if it's really a home that has the cap uh, cap capabilities of placing an offer on and that you would enjoy living in that location? And is the market on a need to take more of your, for you to save for your dream home? And we'll come on to the financial aspects of this as well a little later on. So two, these are the questions you need to ask. Are house, house costs going up or down? So when house prices are going up, it's by the large, large indicator that the market is at present working for sellers instead of buyers. Moreover, house costs generally go up and, and down and they fluctuate over time as well. So insufficient house, housing stock for you to purchase knows that the market is playing a game as well and that there is a lot of people that are buying out there. So places for for example, especially urban areas like London and Edinburgh are regularly amongst the most costly for those hoping to purchase homes there. While more modest country, uh, country homes where generally people don't want to live, that's where the property's values sometimes are lower and where people by a rule of thumb, um, houses prices are driven down. And also driven down by the commercial activities within that area and the infrastructure and developments that are, are happening around there. If a place is being regenerated, know that the property prices will go up over a period of time because it has got, um, it's gonna be regenerated to a standard that people want to um, live in. So obviously that will drive up um, the cost of the property that you are about to purchase. So how does the mortgage um, work as well in a mortgage market? Mortgage and real estates are intertwined. When loan fees and are low, buyers are bound to be um, dynamic in, in their search to find an, and acquiring a property because it's they know the, more, um, the fees are low. So therefore they're gonna put um, more money into the property and be able to get a better rate of um, interest on their mortgage because the fees are low. So the mortgage um, payments per month is low. Therefore, that's when people go out to buy because the interest rates are low. Again, you have to look at your individual circumstances to see what favorable rates you might get. So how does the property market look right now? So house supplies. Um, this is the one thing that we know is the, probably the greatest issue 
um, confronting the property buyers in the UK right now is the lack of housing supply. As per property um, entryway Zoopla, housing supply is currently 20.8% lower than last year, 2020. This is in accordance with the remarks from Rightmove that stock levels on um, the site sites are very um, unequal and low. Be that it may, many buyers are searching for family homes or properties with gardens. For instance, Rightmove discovered that 14% less new postings put available between January and March this year. In any case, there was around 30% less um, new postings of three to four bedroom detached properties. The most famous property um, type of UK purchasers, notwithstanding those um, hoping to purchase a property in the downtown areas are probably going to have more decisions. Central London, for instance, is one of the um, spaces seen below the norm levels of properties that are on the market. So why is this? People are holding on to their properties. Are you afraid to purchase a property right now because of the glut um, that people are doing and buying and buying at a higher level? You have to do your due diligence to know when's the right time for you. Many guess that this is the consequence of the change in the buyer's need. In the past, many home buyers wanted homes near workplaces, and that's no longer the case anymore because they know because of what we've just gone through, it's more, it can be more easier to work from home as well. So a lot of people are not saying, I want to work near my workplace anymore. They're saying, where's convenient? And the number one thing actually people are looking for when they're buying homes is, is their internet connection. Is that any good? And that's what people are really looking for as opposed to living in London now. So why are sellers not putting up their properties on the market? Zupa predicts that the quality, quantity of homes deals this year will hit 1.5 million by December 2021. That's 45% higher than last year. This suggests that there is a lack of supply that is caused partly due to the extra buying demand not a lack of sellers coming on to the market. However, there it has been a slowdown in the number of new properties entering the market, suggests reluctance to, um, to, for sellers to sell. There is a number of reasons why people are slightly more reluctant to sell their properties right now. Let's explore some of these. So people are reluctant to sell, one, because of the COVID pandemic, Two, stamp duty obligations um, are going to be cut off. Monetary um, volatility and purchasing contests. So let's look at um, COVID um, pandemic. The home selling process includes a great deal of contact with potential buyers coming to view. Many mortgage holders have been hesitant to begin promoting their property as a result of the likely danger of transmission. Be that it may, with the facilities of limitation and the huge extent of this um, viewing process, many have resulted in not putting their property in the market because they don't feel safe. So that could be one of the reasons why people haven't. Stamp duty. While numerous buyers are quicker to exploit the stamp duty um, obligations occasion that is, you know, basically we, we had a stamp duty holiday, which actually sees a last month. A few sellers are carefully about ad advertising their properties excessively near the cutoff time. A few deals won't finish to the scheduled um, and exploit the investment funds that is available. And this could be prompted exchange fails if a buyer can't pay the stamp duty if it rises and it falls short within that, that time. So that's another reason. The monetary effect of the COVID-19 pandemic has also not yet been felt in full. A few groups would prefer not to settle on the enormous monetary choices like taking on a home loan until they totally see how secure their monetary position is for what's to come. Purchasing contests as well. Numerous of buyers who have put their homes available um, to be purchased are likewise um, hoping to purchase. Those are some holding off to sell until they have 
more properties on the market. Because if you're selling your home, you could get a high price for your home. However, if you're now looking to buy, you're now paying more than what you would have been paying before. So a lot of purchasers are holding back from that. So it's time for a change. And will this change happen soon? Property analysts, analysts have anticipated that the finish of the lockdown limitations will urge sellers to feel more certain about putting their property on the market and having individuals over for viewing. Moreover, most certainly the tightening of the stamp duty um, as well will add to the diminishing of buyer's interest. This will imply almost certainly when the occasion has finished, we may see a period where less individuals than typical go to the market, lessening the on um, evenness amongst the demand and supply. Housing costs, because of the interest from buyers and the low quantities of properties available, house costs has developed hugely over the years. As per the most recent land registry house price index, the normal property cost in England was on average 268,000. This is at 8.9% higher than the year prior, an increment of shy of 25,000. For instance, where house costs in the Northwest has expanded 11.8% since last year, spaces of inward London have seen exceptionally sluggish pace of house um, values developments. House costs in the city of London, for instance, have already diminished by 13.6% since last year. The home loan market. At present, at the present moment, the mortgage market is, a, is great. And for those hoping to move house, loan fees are really low, which I talked about before, which more, makes it more reasonable to acquire a property. Moneyfacts.co.uk, who followed the home loan um, market intently, have discovered rates being as low as 0.95% for home movers who can advance to 40%. The loan home market is generally less great for first-time purchasers. This is on the grounds that first-time buyers present a more serious danger to money lenders and will generally have more modest rates. So things, um, as things begin to go forward, is it the right time to buy or sell? For now, the property market is a financially um, difficult it may be but housing costs are high and there's loads of contests for the best homes it is difficult for some buyers to track down the right house and get the best arrangement in any case that doesn't mean that there isn't an extension for buyers to exploit the circumstances as well many home sellers are quick to move rapidly to guarantee that they meet the stamp duty dead of the deadlines and occasions that will be cut off in October. Also, there are a few regions, for example, downtown areas where there are less buyers looking for houses as well. And other areas moving outside of London, that could be beneficial to you as well. So ensure you fully informed in regards to um, what is available on the market, near, um, nearby public transportations or schoolings and things like that. And look outside London to get the best deals for yourself and your family. However, in the case you're hoping to purchase a property presently, we suggest getting your finance in place in order that you can focus on the property um, rather than the home loan when you find the property. So get all of your things in place so you know how much you can borrow, up to what amount, what deposits you're gonna need, what associated costs you're gonna have to be spending that on, then that way, when you're looking at your location, because that's key, then you know exactly what you'll be um, able to afford and what you would need to put down. So thank you for listening to, to me today on Finance Talk. If you have any questions, don't forget to um, put them in the chat and I'm happy to answer them. Remember, you can reach us via email for a free discovery call. If you need any information about property investment, starting a saving pot, wanting to sort out any CCJ's defaults, wanting to get a mortgage, wanting to look at your Equifact or Experian report, please feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help you to be more financially savvy in the savvy way. 
You can contact us at all our social media handles and please feel free to share, like and share a comment. Look forward to seeing you next week on Finance Talk with myself, Sophia Gray.